boys and girls, it's your boy Young King Cookson uh, making a video uh, on YouTube. Today it's a bit of AFL, which player would you rather in your team? Who's better? Ooh, I don't follow them. Sorry, I, I follow back now. Just started following you. My apologies, my apologies. But uh, yeah, I'll shout them out because I'm basically stealing their, uh, stealing their photos. AFL underscore would underscore you underscore rather. <laughs> and the photo is Cal Brown or Jesus, which I put on my story because I thought it was hilarious. This one's obvious at Young King Cookson's, man. Hashtag Cal Brown low, hashtag we love Cal Brown. That is quality and I don't know, like Jesus Christ, I'm not sure who that is, so Cal Brown all day. 16 posts, a fairly new page. So I thought, may as go through them all and give my unwanted opinions on who I would rather have in a team. Oh, it says here, retired players is them in their prime. Fair enough. Current day players is if you were to build a prem a prem team, premiership team for this season. Age is irrelevant. So the first one is Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody, or Jordan DeGoey. Wow. Um, I don't know who's old, uh, it's irrelevant. Age is irrelevant, I don't even know why I'm asking that. But um, basically, ooh, Tip and Woody destroyed North on the weekend. DeGoey didn't destroy North when we played them. But, that being said, oh, what are the comments? I'm gonna cheat a little bit and see what people are saying. Wow, Tipper, Tipper. Oh, someone, a Bombers fan chose DeGoey. Tipper, DeGoey, Tipper, Tipper, Tipper. DeGoey, Tipper, Tipper, DeGoey. So it's pretty even. Um, I'd be choosing Jordan DeGoey. Yeah, I'm picking Jordan DeGoey. I love them both. They're both two of my favorite players in the league, but as someone wrote there, um, yeah, DeGoey is gonna turn into a gun midfielder, I think. At the moment, he's dominating up forward, but I don't know, Tipper probably could maybe one day go through the, the middle, but well, then again, it's, it's irrelevant, so it's now. I'm just contradicting the game, the way of the game. Bro, what? Um, yeah, I'd still take Dugowie. I think Dugowie's better player because you can put him in the midfield. Even in now, he's been playing in the midfield a little bit the last couple of weeks. And he played good against West Coast, got a couple of key clearances in that last quarter. So I'm taking Dugowie on that one. Oh! These, in my eyes, the two best players in the comp. Right here. Nat Fife or Paddy Cripps. That just might be the title of this video, I reckon. Pat Cripps or Nat Fife? Oh, obviously you take. Well, actually, I don't know how much Cripps is pretty young. I'm not going to stop referring to age, but I'm pretty sure Cripps is a fair bit younger. Fife would be like 28, 27. Cripps like 24, maybe 23. I don't know. But um, yeah, if you're building a team for the future, maybe you're choosing Cripps. But right now, I'm still, even though Cripps is definitely, I think, second best player in the AFL. Only behind the one and only Nat Fife. Two are very good looking men, if, uh, if I don't say so myself as well. Um, so yeah, I'm choosing Nat Fife for that one. Oh, the two best ruckmen in the league. Well, Nick Nat's been out for a while. I reckon he's probably, you know, up there. But this one, I think Gorney's an absolute gun. He's rough. He's bloody, he's rough craft, big boy. He's rough craft, big boy. He's probably... Uh, better than Grundy, marginally. Grundy's still pretty good in the in the ruck as well, but I am taking Brody Grundy because having that bloke is a guy who can dominate hit outs and he's like another midfielder. Like he runs around the ground and you know, like it, it's cooked. That bloke, he's, he's cooked. Brody Grundy's a gun. I think he deserves to be the first player ever to be worth, what, what are they saying, 1.5 mil or something? I reckon pay him that a year. I'd pay for that at North. I'd, I'd have that at North, easy. Um, yeah, Gorney, absolute gun though. That's no discredit to Gorn being second behind Grundy. But, you know, people can argue Gorn's better and I couldn't tell them they're wrong. Even though I disagree. Oh, <laughs> Kelly versus Kelly. Wow. This one. Um, Tim Kelly's obviously having a better year. Obviously, I don't know, Josh Kelly's been playing pretty good, has he? He's been out for a little bit. Um, I'm taking Tim Kelly. Obviously, Josh Kelly's very young, uh, but yeah, I'm taking Tim Kelly for this one. Tim Kelly is in the wet. He's playing with the dry footy, that bloke. Like, watch him in the wet. His hands are ridiculous. Yeah, I'm taking Tim Kelly. Josh Kelly, absolute gun, though. Future Brownlow medalist, dare I say. Tim Kelly could be the Brownlow medalist at the end of this year. I'm taking Tim Kelly. 
Oh, Taranto or Clayton Oliver. This is juicy. Um, people probably automatically think Oliver. Oliver gets heaps of footy. Taranto is way more damaging with the footy than Oliver, I believe. And he probably, I don't reckon he would get too many less disposals than Oliver. Oliver obviously eats the footy, but like, I, before, you know, if anyone's getting triggered listening to me, I'm not a footy expert. I don't claim to be. Politely tell me in the comments while I'm wrong. Why I'm wrong. Don't, you know, don't get triggered with me because I'm probably saying some things that are wrong, but from what I watch in footy, I don't dive into the stats. From what I watch, this is what I think. And I think Taranto is more damaging with the footy. But, um, probably wrong. I'm taking Timmy Taranto. Very, very questionable for me, but I'm taking Taranto. Clayton is a gun. No, no denying it. Robbie Tarrant versus Michael Hurley. Um, see, me and a good friend of mine, Jackson Mays, he's a big Essendon fan. Um, he argues a lot that, this is obviously the one I recommend. He argues a lot that Hurley is better than Robbie Tarrant. Um, and I said, not at all. <laughs> As a key backman, Robbie's better. He's like, oh no, Hurley's better kick. And I'm like, yeah, maybe. Hurley's probably a better footballer, but a lockdown defender, I would rather Robbie Tarrant. Robbie Tarrant is a beast. No discredit to Michael Hurley. He's, I keep saying discredit. No discredit, bro. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, Michael Hurley, obviously, like a gun. Um, he's a, I think he's been All-Australia before, yeah? Robbie, I think, should have been All-Australian one time, but he's probably always been the third best key back in the league over the last few. Um, this year, again, he's probably the third behind, like, what? Darcy Moore, I don't know if he's dropped off lately, but he started off really good, and Harris Andrews, I think, is killing it. Um, that bloke from Freo, is it Ryan? I think he's killing it as well. Pierce or someone, I don't know, one of the Freo backmen is killing it as well. Um, but, yeah, I'm taking Robbie Tarrant. Um, that might be North Bias. I don't think so. I personally think Robbie's a better player. Better, better defender. Not a better footballer. Better defender. Rory Sloan or Luke Parker? Ooh, two Brownlow fancies over the last couple of years that have gone under the radar this year due to, I think Sloan was out a fair bit and Parker had a bit of a quiet one last year. Um, yeah, this is tough. With no stats or anything. Not that I'm a big stat man anyway, but just like looking at this, no stats. Sloan or Parker? Hmm. Oh, I'm, I don't know. I, this is hard. I'm probably taking Luke Parker. I'm probably taking Luke Parker. Very marginally, though, but I'm probably taking Luke Parker. Roy Sloan is a gun, but I'm, I don't know. I'm taking Luke. I reckon he's maybe just a little bit better. I don't know. Danger or Lockie Neal? Wow. Well, oh, Danger can't kick the footy. I think I hit more targets in a game of footy than Dangerfield does. Um, but he's a beast. He's quick, he's strong, and he gets a lot of the footy. Lockie Neal as well, he's he's a beast. He's dominating this year. He's another Brownlow up there. Danger's up there for the Brownlow as well. I'm probably taking Dangerfield, really. Um, just because he's got some X factor that not many other players in the comp have. With his strength and pace combined, I don't think too many guys have that. Lockie Neal, gun. But if I've already got... You know, if, if you've got a Nat Fife in, in your team, I'm not saying Lockie Neal is worse than that. Actually, yes, I am. I think Nat Fife's better. But Danger is just about like one of the only guys who can do it the way he does. Like, so strong pace. Again, not a footy expert, but this is what I believe. So I'm taking Danger for you. Kennedy or Buddy? Wow. Wow. Probably the two best forwards. Oh, Jack Rewell's probably in there as well. Two best forwards. Uh, I'm taking Buddy. I'm still taking Buddy. If I, even though like it sounds dumb to say build a premiership team now, Josh Kennedy just won a flag last year. But oh, I'm taking Buddy. No disres, no discredit. <laughs> no discredit, bro. No discredit to Josh Kennedy, but I'm taking Buddy. Yeah, I got, I got, I got Buddy. I don't know. I, I think Buddy's. He's one of the best players I've ever seen. Maybe a little bit past it. Maybe a little bit. I don't know, but. I'm still, I'm just taking buddy. I'm taking buddy. I might be it. Oh, Cochin or Selwood. Wow. You gotta take Joel Selwood, don't you? Cochin's got a brown though. <laughs> a questionable brown though, but he's got one. Um, oh, that's tough. I don't know. Yeah, I reckon I'm taking Joel Selwood. Fearless leader. Um, 
Um, nah, yeah, Joel Soward, he, he, he'd do anything for his team. Um, broken head and all. Bont or Pendles? Wow, Bont or Pendles, they're pretty, pretty similar sort of players, aren't they? I'm taking Pendles, I think. Even still now, I'm, I'm taking Pendles. He, he's one of the silkiest players the game's ever seen through traffic. Like, when he gets the ball, it's like it's all in slow motion and people just sort of just go around him. Bont's got a little bit of that about him, but I don't think he's quite hit his peak yet. Bont, he's a gun. He's, he's having a great year, but I'm still probably choosing Pendles. What do the comments say for this one? Scott Pendlebury, Bont because of his age. Well, that's regardless, you haven't read the thing. Bont, Bont, Pens, Bont, Bont, Pendles. Bont, Pendles, Pendies, Penny, Bont. <sighs> Very even. Jeez, this page really knows, you know, choose some dividing questions, dividing players. Yeah, I'm choosing Pendles. Ben Brown or Jack Rewall? Obviously a North man, I love Benny Brown, but um, I think Jack Rewall can do a lot more for you. Yeah, I think Jack, Jack Rewall can do a lot more for you. Ben Brown, um, what he does is just about the best at it. He runs all day, leads up, gets the footy, and he used to be a really good set shot. This year he's gone off a little bit, but um, still up top three in the Coleman, I think. Um, but yeah, I think Jack Rewalt just does, a, he does a fair bit more around the ground. Like, not, not, not hating on Benny Brown, he, what he brings to the team is so important. He's one of our best players because of what he can do, but when the ball's on the ground, uh, he's a little bit irrelevant. A little bit irrelevant to the, the play. Like, oh, he tries his ass off. It's not, he's just, um, yeah, a little bit not good below the knees. Uh, yeah. Uh, I love, love Benny. Love Benny so much, and he's a gun. I wouldn't trade, I don't want him out of the team. I love him. Would keep him, but Jack Ray probably just does a little bit more for me. He can set up goals, as you saw in Richmond's Premiership year. I think he won the Coleman that year, maybe. Even if he didn't, uh, he, there's a lot of, he gave off a lot as well, and he, um, yeah, he's probably, he's a little bit shorter, maybe. A little bit shorter than Ben Brown, but yeah, I'm choosing Rewalt. My brother's gonna kill me for that, but yeah, I'm choosing Rewalt. Oh, the first of the older, oldie boys, old boys. They obviously had their kickoff at uh, North uh, Essendon earlier in the year when North got absolutely pumped. Um, this is pretty obvious there, like no, dis no discredit. <laughs> no discredit to Matthew Lloyd, but Wayne Carey's like the best player of all time, yeah? I didn't really watch either of them play that much. I think I was too young. I saw the back end of Lloyd's career, never really saw the duck, but um, I think I'd be an idiot to say Lloyd, wouldn't I? I'm, I'm choosing the duck. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's like the best player of all time. So yeah, I'm going the duck, and he's a North boy, so. Ooh, Travis Boak or Mitch Duncan? Ooh, that's, ooh. I'm taking Travis Boak, I reckon. Mitch Duncan probably gets a little bit, um, doesn't probably get the credit he deserves because he's probably, you know, the fourth best player in his team, like fourth best midfielder in his team. So, even though, actually, probably third now. Even though I think he's up there for disposals and stuff. I, I don't know. But I'm choosing Boak. He's having an amazing year. Um, and he's a, he's a talkie boy. He's from where I uh, live. Good, good fella, Boki. So, um, yeah, I'm choosing Travi Boak. And the last one. I can't believe I got through 16 of these things. Jared Witts versus Ben McAvoy. The two biggest names on this page. Um, I'm probably choosing Jared Witts. Yeah, Jared Witts is like leading the league in hitouts or something, I think someone said. I don't know if that's true, it's probably wrong, but Big Boy McAvoy, very serviceable, but I reckon Jared Witts is the captain up at the Suns. Um, obviously, they've had two 90 plus point losses in a row, but uh, yeah, no, I'm going Big Boy Jared Witts. Puts on a fair old clinic. There you have it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, yeah, not a footy expert by any means. I just like watching it. <laughs> and I just like talking crap to you lot. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, we just hit 10K subs. How about that? Appreciate you all. Um, I like to keep things pretty, pretty lighthearted here, but really, you know, it's pretty, it's, it's cool to see people enjoy my stuff um, but yeah no you're all legends I uh, hope you keep watching thanks for watching drop a sub or I will kiss your dad and see you later Why? <laughs>